tutorial, uh, we shall look at uh, chemical equations. A chemical change uh, involves uh, a reorganization. of the atoms in one or more substances. Uh, for example, uh, methane, methane gas, uh, methane in natural gas, CH4, uh, may react with oxygen in air to form carbon dioxide and water vapor. So this chemical change can be represented uh, by using a chemical equation. So we have CH4 plus O2. This is giving us carbon dioxide plus H2O, water vapor. So uh, what we have here on the left hand side of the arrow, these are called uh, reactants. These are the reactants. Then on the right hand side of the arrow, we have uh, products. The, the plus sign on the left hand side of the arrow means uh, uh, reacts with reacts with then the arrow the arrow means to form then this plus sign on the right hand side means and so we can read the equation to be methane reacts with the oxygen to form carbon dioxide and and water it is also uh, important to realize that um, the number of atoms on the left hand side must be equal to the number of atoms on the right hand side. So here what has just happened, uh, bonds have broken down and new bonds have been uh, formed. So we need to make sure that the number of atoms on the reactant side must be equal to the number of the atoms on the product uh, uh, side. Uh, Atoms are neither created nor destroyed. So this point is very important and uh, it, it's going to help us to balance uh, the equations. So now we need to make sure that uh, the number of atoms on the reactant side is equal to the number of atoms on the, on the product side. So no atoms must be created, no destroyed. So let's balance the equation. CH4 plus O2 then forms uh, CO2 plus H. To all. So now let's balance uh, the equation. So balancing equation is try and error. You try uh, different numbers until it uh, balances. So the reactants must equal to the uh, products. So here we have one carbon, one carbon. So the carbon is balanced. We have four hydrogens. This side we have two. So we can balance the hydrogen by simply writing a 2 in front of the formula. That, that 2 here uh, affects everything in the formula. So in this case now we have 4 hydrogens here. 4 hydrogens. So this 2 has also affected the oxygen. We have 2 oxygens and uh, here we have, um, we have 2. So 2 plus 2 we have four oxygens. So here we have two. So to make it four, we simply need a two. So in this case, uh, the equation has, uh, has balanced. Uh, another example, uh, we can have CH3, that is propane, plus the oxygen, 
then this is giving us uh, CO2 plus water. So in this case, we have three carbons here, one carbon here. Let's try to balance the carbon. We introduce a three there. Then we have four, we have eight hydrogens here. Here we have two, so we, we try to introduce a four there. Then let's check oxygen. Here we have six oxygens plus four, ten. Then here we have two. So to balance it, we simply need a five. For example, another one. Aluminium plus chlorine gas. This is giving us aluminium, uh, aluminium chloride. Aluminium chloride. So let's balance the equation. Uh, we have one aluminium, one aluminium. Here we have two chlorines, three chlorines. So two and three normally uh, balances at, uh, at six. So let's try a two here. So we have uh, six chlorines. Here we have two chlorines. So to balance it, we need three there. Now this two has affected aluminium, so we need a two there. So the equation has, has balanced. Then now, uh, let's look at uh, the meaning of a chemical equation. Two uh, important uh, types of information that we can obtain from a chemical equation. Number one, we the chemical equation can give us the nature. We can have the information concerning the nature of the reactants and uh, products. Then two, uh, the relative numbers of reactants and uh, products. So these relative numbers comes from the balancing uh, uh, e equation. So when we write a chemical equation, also we need to, uh, to specify the physical uh, states. Physical states of the uh, species taking uh, a part. Uh, we have states, then symbol. So if a species taking part, uh, it's in solid form. So for solid, we use the symbol S. The liquid, we use L. Gas, G. Then it dissolved. In water, uh, which is also called in aqueous solution, then we this one we use the AQ. AQ. So these are the state symbols, the physical uh, uh, state symbol that uh, we use in a chemical uh, equation. For example, uh, hydrochloric acid. Uh, in aquas, so this, this is dissolved in water, may react with sodium hydrogen uh, carbonate, which is in solid form, uh, to give us sodium chloride, sodium chloride, aquas, plus carbon dioxide. This is a gas plus, uh, plus water, liquid. So these are the state uh, symbols. So here, dissolved in water, solid, uh, and so on. So we need to know how to, to uh, uh, we need to specify the, the state symbols uh, uh, involved. Okay, so now we can look at uh, stoichiometric uh, calculations. Let's see how we can calculate the amounts of products and the uh, and the reactant stoichiometric calculations 
So we shall find out how we can calculate the amount of reactants and products. First of all, there are steps that must be followed uh, uh, for us to perform these stoichiometric calculations. Number one, balance the chemical equation. That should be step number one. Balance the chemical equation. Once the chemical equation is balanced, then we need to convert. Convert non-masses. Non-masses of the reactants. Of the reactants. Reactants or products. To moles. Then step number three. Um, we now use appropriate more ratios. Uh, set up appropriate more ratios of the species involved. Then now uh, we need to convert moles, convert moles to grams if required. So these are the steps uh, that we can that we need to take when we are dealing with the stoichiometric uh, calculations. Uh, example. We shall use the uh, this equation. Propane. We will just use the same one that we we, we looked at. Uh, propane burns in the oxygen gas in the air to form CO two plus uh, water water vapor. Uh, we need to balance the equation. We have balanced it. So we have the 5 here, 3, then 4. So the equation is, is balanced. The question is uh, calculate, uh, calculate the mass of oxygen. Oxygen gas that will react that will react uh, with uh, twenty two point zero grams of propane. Okay, so here the equation is balanced. So what we just need to to do is to convert uh, the mass of propane in two moles. So we have 22 grams of propane, uh, C3H8. So now we calculate the moles of propane. We know moles is equal to mass over molar mass. So the mass here is 22 grams. Then the molar mass of propane, uh, we have 12 12.01 uh, times 3, then 1.008 times 8. So then uh, what are we getting? 12.01 uh, by 3. Uh, we have 36.03 uh, then 1.008 times 8. We have 8.064. Then now we add plus 36.03. This is giving us 44.094 grams per mole. Then now we divide uh, 22 over 44.094. 
44.09 million form uh, we have 0 0.49 million 80 moles of uh, propane okay so these are the number of moles of propane uh, that may react with the oxygen then now we need to what is the to set up the mole ratio uh, between propane and uh, and uh, oxygen so for propane we have one more one more of propane then for oxygen we have five more uh, oxygen so now we can use the same mole ratio to calculate the the moles of um, of oxygen oxygen gas so what we need is the mole of oxygen gas so in this case we have uh, 0 0.498 moles of propane then we multiply it by by 5 moles 5 moles of oxygen so we want the moles of propane to cancel so we have one more propane so you can see that the propane cancels then now we have 0 0.498 multiplied by 5 this is giving us 2.495 moles of oxygen then now we need to convert uh, the moles of oxygen uh, to the required uh, uh, grams. So we know that uh, mass is equal to moles times uh, molar, molar mass. So in this case, the moles of oxygen, we have 2.49, then times molar mass of oxygen gas, which is uh, 32 grams uh, per mole. So we multiply by 32. This is giving us 79.83 grams of oxygen. So that is how we can uh, perform uh, this uh, calculation. Thanks for, for watching.